Hi guys, welcome back. I've been wanting to do more YouTube videos, like day in the life stuff, since you guys have asked about it. And I have actually a few things I'm trying to accomplish today. So I figured I would take you along. I don't know if this is going to be a boring video or not, but I'm going to try my best to make it entertaining. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing just because, why not? This is my outfit today. I am wearing the largest like overpriced band t-shirt you could ever ask for. Um, and a hat because I'm going to be setting up something outside and hanging out with my dog. So yeah, just cozy, comfortable. Um, at some point today, I'll be editing my house tour video. So by the time this video is up, my house tour video should have already been posted. So if you're new here, go check out my Japanese house tour. I have a little bit of cleaning to do around the house. Um, I'm not working right now, so I'm just like a stay at home life-sucking human being. So I'm gonna do some cleaning, a little bit of organizing. It's kind of a late start to the day. I um, FaceTimed or Zoomed with some friends earlier, so now I need to like get going, you know? I did at least brush my teeth and put some new clothes on. Okay, let's get started. I definitely wanna get some laundry done. I try to do laundry every day because I can only do like one small load. So we're gonna do that. You know, this is a lot harder with one hand than one would think. And these staircases are so steep. I'm scared I'm gonna like bust it. This is my laundry machine. Super cute. It's a washer and dryer, but it's beautiful outside today. So I'm going to be washing my clothes and then hanging them up. I already put my soap in and this is how we start it turn it on it's not flashing in person but the camera's picking it up this is the washing button wash and dry dry so this will be done in about 45 minutes or so, so while this is being done I'm gonna go work on other chores in the house make sure my dog's still outside there he is this is Gus Gus, if you guys don't know. Oh, he wants to play with his ball. Come here, say hello. It's my dog Gus Gus. He's like 70 pounds. We rescued him in San Diego and brought him here with us. He is the sweetest boy ever, and he loves to sit outside and be in the sun. But we're gonna play in a little bit, okay? I still have some things to do. Alexa, play today's top hits. The playlist all hits on Amazon Music. I always forget on YouTube that you can't use other people's music, so enjoy this copyright free music that I purchased on Epidemic Sounds. We have like the smallest dishwasher. It's so cute. It's perfect for two people. Um, otherwise, we wash everything by hand which is not a bad thing. It's very nice for the environment. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know we're like obsessed with Dyson vacuums, especially having a dog. So I wanna show you. This is an empty filter. I'm going to vacuum my carpet. Just this single carpet. We don't wear shoes in our house, but you know we have a dog. I'm gonna show you how much dirt this is gonna pick up. And we like literally just washed our carpets a week and a half ago and vacuum every week. Check this out. Look at that. That is disgusting. If you're watching this and you haven't vacuumed your carpet, go do it. Okay. I'm on a roll, so I'm just gonna finish vacuuming my whole house. Imagine if it was that easy to actually clean your room. 
so hungry. I'm gonna have some lunch. I've got lots of stuff, but I really need to eat this hot pot that I made. So I'm just gonna heat this up. These are my favorite bowls. I got them here in Japan. It's Japanese pottery. I eat everything out of this. Ramen, soup, cereal. It all goes in this bowl. It's like tofu, bamboo shoots, mushroom, and red pepper, red bell peppers. And the broth is like a chicken stock with coconut milk and red curry and then like some other stuff, but it's delicious. I don't really know how to use the microwave, so I'm gonna press this. And then once it stops, I'm gonna check to see if it's hot yet. And if it's not, I'm just gonna press this again because I don't really know what these mean. With the microwave and other appliances in my house, we pretty much, it's a guessing game. And people always tell me, why don't you use Google Translate? Because it doesn't always translate the same, like what it actually means. And like the little fonts on the buttons, just Google Translate isn't trustable. Like one of the buttons, it translates to kill Drake. And I'm not going to touch that button, so we just make it work. Just finished, so I'm gonna check, see if it's hot. That is not hot at all. So we're gonna do it again. And again, if we need to. Okay. Heated it up twice. It looks good. One more time. Hey guys. Just checking on you, bud. You doing all right? Bring these two plants outside one to two times a day just for like a couple of hours because they don't get the right amount of sunshine where I have them in the house. So if you have plants that struggle, just do that. They like being outside sometimes. Cheez-Its, I love Cheez-Its so much. So I'm just gonna um, eat lunch and then I'm gonna finish laundry. And there's like this uh, shade screen I wanna put up outside because it's hot out. Hello, will you turn on please, sir? I'm just gonna put Tara's house on. Do you guys watch Tara's house? It is so good. It's kind of like the real world, but like Japan. And I watch it with subtitles on to help familiarize myself with the Japanese language and like local dialect. But it also gives you a peek into like social dating habits and what relationships are like. It's really interesting. I like the Aloha State. It's where they go to Hawaii. Um, it's like a merge of like Japanese and American culture. So it's, it's really interesting. So anyway. Let me know if you guys watch Shara's house and which season is your favorite. I was just watching my friend's Instagram stories. Her name is Jen. She just changed her Instagram name though, hang on. Layers of underscore Jen. And she's getting her earthquake emergency kit together. And it kind of freaked me out because she was saying how the, they're, the people, I don't know who these people are, that study earth, the movement. Somebody's smarter than me, please help out. Um, they're saying like an earth like a bigger earthquake may be coming and that we need to be prepared We don't have our earthquake emergency kit yet. We have a bunch of water just in case But it's kind of freaking me out. I don't want to cause any chaos by anyone watching this, but it may be wise to go ahead and make our emergency kit um, Just in case because we don't have one and we're supposed to have one they sell them on Amazon complete earthquake bag for emergencies but what do you need in a survival kit this is kind of scary to be honest all right this is very interesting let me know in the comments if you want a video 
about us putting our earthquake emergency kit together. Clearly not an expert, but it may be helpful for other. It may be helpful for others. Well, Caitlin, can you please talk English, please? All right. Okay. So I bought this thing. I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. Am I gonna sneeze? Jesus! We have a patio outside, but it's not covered and it gets really, really hot and I want to be able to enjoy our time out there. So I went to Nitori and bought one of these. These are common little shades that people use outside their house in Japan. This is what they look like. So instead of having like an umbrella or a shade that just goes like straight out like that, they like cover the whole area. So this is what I got. I think it was like 15 US dollars. And these are like the different ways you can do it. But we're gonna try to do that or that. I don't know yet. And then I got these little clips. I think they just stick to the house. So we're gonna see if they work or not. And you're gonna come with me. So this is our current patio deck situation. And we don't wanna cover the doors and we're gonna get like a grill and put one of those here. So I'm gonna try to hang it like up here somehow. So go like that. Oh, it's really bright. Sorry, friends. Oh, wow, they're magnets. I did not know that. That's cool. So I won't have to damage the house because I'm not supposed to put anything on the house. So it has these things that are also sticky, but I'm gonna try to magnetize it. So we'll find out soon if it works. But look, I hope that works. Gus, it is hot out here. How are you just like moping around? It's actually not so bad. This is nice, huh? I use a shade outside. So much better. We have his water bowl out here, so it'll try to keep him in the shade. I cannot bring him inside without fighting him. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, this is like a very weird time. It's like almost five o'clock and I am about to take a shower. Um, just cause I was like outside with the dog for a lot of the day and like cleaning around the house. So I'm going to shower and then go edit some YouTube videos for like an hour. My husband actually just got home from work and he helped me fold all of the laundry. So normally when he gets home from work, we like catch up for a couple of minutes, but then I like to give him space to kind of decompress from the day. So he'll usually like read or watch a movie or um, play video games. Like he loves Xbox and PlayStation. I don't know if you guys understand that at all, but I like to give him like his own time and space to like decompress from the day and like working. Um, and it's kind of nice because then I can use that time to get things done that I still want to do. And yeah, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, but if you guys have questions about anything, this is more like a compact 
idea of like what a day in my life may look like but I can make a week in my life a longer day in my life I don't really know what you guys want to see so let me know this is my first like day in my life vlog and I don't know if it was any good <laughs> so you just let me know happy to oblige I need ideas and I really appreciate you guys watching so I'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>